Go, Colin, go! You can okay. do it! Ah. Da, 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 da. I guess we're gonna have to cut that. You can okay. do it! Da, 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 da. What? Wait, am I doing this wrong? Go, Colin, go! You can do it! Yeah! Da, da, yeah! Da, 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 da. I don't know if you noticed, but there's a uh, dirt all over the place. Because I forgot to take it down while I was uh, building this this new extension to the castle. Whoa! <laughs> I'm gonna come outside and uh, we'll introduce it this way. Last time uh, we made an episode, we didn't really have much progress to show, and I kind of felt bad about that. So I got on here, and I spent a couple hours doing some stuff. And one of them included, uh, I built this little side thing. I uh, finished this pathway up, put some trees, and I put this here. Obviously, it's not completely finished. And so I think... Uh, I might I might make this kind of like a uh, storage area or something. Yeah, right. Well, so, guess what I'm doing? What are you doing right now? Do you know what I'm doing? What are you doing right now? I'm in the middle of spawn. I'm uh, looking at the sun. That's bad for your eyes. All right. Well, uh, let, let's talk about some stuff and updating, really, re just really, really quick. Uh, number one on my list is Christmas. Christmas passed. We got some cool stuff. End of story. <laughs> <laughs> the end. The only things noteworthy right now are uh, new speakers, which I'm not even using at the moment, and a new and a new mouse pad with a nice, comfy uh, wrist rest. Say that five times fast. Ryan, look at the Porta Pro. No, not again. Oh, I thought that was Uber Derps. What? That was Uber Derps. <laughs> Yeah, I, I thought I read Uber Derp on that earlier. Maybe he changed that. But I had an ex Brown Wool, Brown Wool. It's, I see what he did there. Ha, 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 ha. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Pooper Derp. I like <laughs> it. <laughs> also, uh, other things to talk about. We recently, uh, a day ago from uh, when we we're recording this now, we released the first episode of Gooberland. It's and, amazing. Go check it out if you haven't. Yeah, and it's it's brought a lot of it's gotten a lot of attention compared to any other video any other video on the channel. There has been no other video that's outdone this video within uh, the attention that it's gotten in a single day. The reason for that is because well, number one, it's a pretty freaking awesome video, and also. I sent the video to Mindplex Official, aka Parker Games, to see what he thought of it. And he really liked it, and he uh, mentioned it in a tweet on Twitter. A whole bunch of people saw that, so now we have like 450 views on it, which is insane for one day for insane. one of our videos. Insane! And 33 likes. Yeah, I'm glad, that, I'm glad that you guys are really enjoying that series. Uh, we're excited to start making more. I, at first, I wasn't sure if I wanted to continue it or not because it took a crap ton of work to do that. I spent like 30 hours and uh, I can take a screenshot of my of the video video uh, editing software and the timeline and stuff and show it on the screen here. Oh man. But every single sound you heard in that, including every single footstep that was heard, oh, I had to put in there and adjust the volume to what I thought was appropriate for it. It wasn't as hard for me, but uh, I came up with the idea after being inspired by a show called Batman Spider Man on YouTube. Uh, but it it turned out so much better than I could have ever imagined. And the lines, oh my gosh, Ryan sent me them over Skype, and I read them, and I just had the dandiest time adding my own stuff to it. Yeah, <laughs> I did all the editing, and I Colin was an actor, and he did did the lines. I gave him all the fun lines because I had the joy of doing every, all of the, the boring and tedious stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and also uh, the mic that uh, Colin used his dad's mic to do those lines because his mic is alright but it's not like 
super yeah, good quality. My my and dad runs my dad runs his own YouTube channel and actually has sent in his music uh to like um music stations and stuff all the time. Uh and they sometimes even feature them. Um so obviously this microphone has gone through some pretty professional days. So yeah, he's he's uh it's still hooked up to his computer. It's not a permanent thing, but while he has it he's gonna use it. And it makes him sound pretty good. Well anyways, uh should we move on to realms related things now? Uh yeah. All Let's right. do that. I already showed off uh my extension to that. As you can see I've started uh doing an outline of um, some more pieces to the thingy thing. I'm gonna come over here. Do you guys remember that huge farm over here that was... It looks, it looks kind of awkward and, uh, like, I don't know, like, a uh, very basic survival ghetto. I don't know. It was a farm over here. It didn't look that pretty, so I took it and I kind of condensed it down, partially because I want people to buy from Droid's food shop. And... Also, I just wanted it to look nicer, and the size that it was before was really big. And wow, you're invisible. I'm invisible? Yeah. Cool. That's where you what? went. I was really confused because I looked behind and I saw all these carrots, like, breaking from nothing. And I'm going to look this way for a second because uh, th there's, there's a new shop that's starting to be worked on, and I'll talk about that in just a second. But another community resource thing that I worked... Ow! That I worked on was Invisible Man Punch You. Community Cloud Factory. I basically took all the sheep from the very basic sheep farm over there and I sorted them and I put them in here and made it look Dude, pretty there's nice. a green sheep in the blue sheep farm. Kill it! What? Ah! Oh there we man. Go. I did it. I saved the world, Ryan. Thank you. This right here, uh, this is what Spencer is working on right now, aka Uber Derp. And it's gonna be a potion shop. I'm so glad that I'm seeing, finally seeing another person uh, creating a shop at spawn because I feel like uh, our shops are kind of singled out and nobody's been really using spawn as much as I'd like. Speaking of which, uh, I feel like the server's kind of gone a little bit inactive recently and so I'm either going to make a huge attempt to get everybody back on here as often as they can or I might open up some spaces for maybe if we have like any other YouTubers watching our content and they would like to be a part of this maybe they could let us know and we'll pick if we decide that we that it's completely necessary and then we'll consider adding you to the series and so that you can record on here yourself and be a part of the community. Yeah. Freud has his uh, cow farm back here. I think I measured it uh, with uh, F3 command. And there's like 73 cows in that one spot. Holy crap. So it, it's been causing a little bit of lag. That's why my render distance is kind of turned down. Because I don't want the video to be choppy at all. Yeah, I'm going to talk to him and see if we can uh, remove that and build it somewhere else. Did you the put what? mines on the block shop? Uh, no, I don't think so. Maybe it's Uber Derp. I'm actually debating on whether I like this or not. I'm so sneaky, he can't even see me while I'm opening the door. Whoa! There he is! What? He no, came. I'm sneaky! Okay, so... Uh, one of the first things that you guys probably noticed... <gasps> the block Shop Zom Zom isn't there anymore! So I... I actually took the armor that he was wearing and I put it on the stand. Let oh. me talk about what here I'm gonna. What about my what, what happened to the sword that he had? Okay, I'll give that to you now. I whoa, somebody bought some stuff from here. But I killed him over the counter because I'm a bank robber. I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're a bank robber of your, your sword's own right thing. there. Your sword's right there. Your sword's right there. Oh, and oh your my sword's, sword's right, right here. There. My sword's right here. And uh. I'm going to keep this rotten flesh in here in memory of the block shop Zom Zom. I had a good reason to kill him. Let's walk over here. The reason for block shop Zom Zom's disappearance uh, relates to um, uh, the iron shop in a way. 
But if you come over here, take a look in this chest. Right here. Okay, one moment. Holy crap. Look at all the iron and so much more we're gonna get, has produced. We're going to get so since many last look. diamonds. Speaking of we're diamonds, let's summit. check our payments. We got one diamond in our payments chest. Yeah. You took one of the, the woods from right there. But this iron is going to contribute to uh, the beacon that we're going to eventually put in the center of spawn. Uh, after we fight the wither. Which we could actually probably do pretty soon. Because people haven't been very active on the server, I might... We might just do a wither fight by ourselves. The villagers are why I had to remove the block shop Zomza. The villagers were freaking out and like they would uh, run, they would like walk over here and then they would notice the villager and they'd sprint over this way. And so there was like a huge, they were like all bunched up in that corner right there and they kept glitching and like falling through the glass and, they, <laughs> and coming down to the ground. So I don't want to be a YouTuber that, hi, that uh, keeps secrets because this is a glitch i uh, had to play with backups and stuff and also went into a creative mode to to put them back up there because it was a glitch that they all fell out and it was a it was a pain getting them up there it probably took me like three hours and i didn't want to have to do that again just because of a glitch a bug in the game in order for the game to register a village there has to be at least 10 villagers there has to be a certain amount of doors in order for an iron golem to spawn. Iron golem AI, uh, it will uh, have them spawn in the center of the village, which is on that platform up there, which will push them down into lava, where it will kill them, and then their drops will be picked up like this and filtered through hoppers and put into that chest. The, the poppies that the iron golems drop are filtered and just dispensed out to despawn later because we don't need them. Oh, hey, look, there's an iron golem in there right now. Wow, look at him burn. Isn't it magnificent? Wow, this is really high tech. Iron golems will spawn like an average of every six minutes, I think. And they drop like three to five iron every time. So I've had the iron shop running for a while, and it's generated quite a lot. And because it's in spawn chunks, too, uh, it will... Uh, generate iron as long as somebody's on the server, I believe. So how do you like this? I uh, put up a second pillar, or I put up two extra pillars to go with them, and I put another pillar connecting all of them. Do you want to farm wither heads to uh, fight the wither later? Sure. I have one wither skeleton skull, and I have used two in my uh, building over there, but I want to keep those ones for decoration. So yeah. we can go ahead and go get two more. And then maybe, depending on time, we could fight a wither in this episode if you wanted. I haven't been in the nether since episode 3, I believe. I found the fortress! Yay! I think like, everybody's... What? One wither skull. Did... Oh, yay! I thought you were <laughs> screaming and then it somehow turned into beatboxing. Oh, there's an experience One. orb! I'm gonna go eat it. I'm done yay. Wow, that was a huge experience orb. Sweet. Boom. You must have killed like an ender dragon over there or something. I did. Well, you weren't Good looking. Job. There is a ender dragon that just spawned. And I killed it. Good job. <laughs> if you found three oh, wither I just got another wither skull. We win. Yeah, let's go to where the skeleton uh, farm is. And then go outside and travel like a hundred blocks. Oh, so. okay. Well, you go ahead. I'll catch up with you in a moment. I need to put my loot away. Okay. Should we make a house out of obsidian for like a safe base? Or at nah, least like we, we don't have to be that cautious. I mean, whoa, there is a forest fire. Well, that's hot sauce. Like a really major forest fire. Anyways, I have smite five on my sword, so he should be pretty easy to kill. And a full prop four, and I have splash potions of health if it's completely necessary. By the way, viewers, I probably should have pointed this out earlier, but if I seem a lot more tired than normal, it's because uh, yesterday I went on the, I pretty much ran a half marathon on my own. I was originally going to do like a three to four mile run, 
Uh, just to keep myself in shape for track and stuff over the break. But I was having fun and I decided to run 12 miles, which isn't exactly a half marathon. It's one mile off, but I couldn't take it anymore and I almost passed out on the side of the road and that wouldn't have been good. And today I'm extremely sore and I have a headache and I'm very tired. So if I um, if I seem tired this episode, that's why. Up here. Oh crap, it's just about to turn night. Well, let me set up Let, some Let's just do it right now. Oh, uh, well, mobs haven't spawned yet. We can probably kill them pretty quickly. Because we're pretty geared out. And you're only in leather armor. Uh, would you like to do the honors? Because I've led most of this episode so far. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. <clears throat> I guess I won't be needing this bucket during the fight, so I'll just put that in my inventory. Oh, let me get out of F3 mode. I don't want that. Q epic. Okay. <laughs> hey, you're not supposed to be shooting yet. What the heck? Hey, hey. Dude, you're cheating. Hey, Dude, cheater. You're cheater. cheater. I'm gonna tell Notch. Like, Ow. Yeah. No, hey, get back here. Oh, dang. He's actually traveling pretty far. And ow, the wither effect is killing me. He can make you wither now? I've never withered you. Ow. Oh. I'm not regenerating, that's why. But I'm four hearts down right now. But he went pretty far. Ugh. Oh crap, ow. Run. Oh Run. crap. Ah. You thought I was uh, I'm in danger, I'm in, ah. I underestimated the weather so much! Told you! Ow! Stop blowing me up! Aww, dang it. Should I just run? Yeah. I better, uh... <laughs> oh, crap. I better... I'm running, I'm running! The weather effect will not wear off, what the heck? <laughs> I think we should have drank the or drunk those regenerated potions before we started the fight, maybe. Maybe. Oh gosh. I miss my stuff. That's a good thing I had uh, those. Oh, did you you lost your stuff? Yeah, I need to go get it. I don't want to go back there. I'm going back there. Oh man, I is there just gonna is there gonna be a wither loose in our world now? Are we just gonna uh, it'll be it it's gonna be in unloaded chunks though. Oh, so just when we go back there, then he starts uh, moving again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Somebody's just gonna be casually walking out here one day, exploring for a place to build a home. They're gonna run to a wither. <laughs> They're gonna die too. Oh gosh, I'm going back to the torch area, and I'm kind of spooked. Maybe someday we can come out on a quest to kill it. Stop it, mobs. Stop you, being mobs. Did you uh, pick your stuff up? Yeah, but I'm kind of dying. Because uh, there's a bunch of mobs around it. I can save you from here. Uh, I'm really scared, though, because I don't know where my diamond sword or my bow or anything is. I can help you replace your sword because this was my idea, though. Well, oh, I'm sorry about that. That's uh, okay. To you and all the viewers, that was really. Dumb uh, of you me. were you were underestimating it. I was like, we are kind of screwed, but you know what? If Ryan's that confident, maybe he knows what we're doing. It's because I've watched so many other people fight withers, and they probably were weren't were not in hard mode. And this server is in hard mode. But I got really close to dying there. If I didn't have those splash potions, I was I um was hesitant to bring them. But I brought them anyways. If I didn't have those, then I would have died. I was one heart left. Alright, so right here, the sign says, Too lazy to build something? Ask me and we'll discuss the price. So I'm going to leave this book and quill in here. 
and it will say I'll put this on this page um, example I need a giant shoe on the right side of my house and then I put I'll later contact you for a price and sharper details so order number one and then I'll come back and uh, check on this whenever and see if anybody needs me, needs me to build them something and then I'll build them it because I like building and people like what I build on the server. And people don't like building sometimes. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed and would like to see more, please uh, leave us some feedback so we know what you guys are thinking of the series. And yeah. 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 Okay, I'm done. There we go.